Welcome everyone to the CData Coffee Break webinar. Today we're going to be taking a look at replicating Salesforce data to Google BigQuery with CData Sync. Um, so just to introduce you to the team, uh, I'm John. I'm a solutions engineer here at CData. I'm also joined by my colleagues Riley James and Antoine. Um, Riley's going to be doing the, the demo today, but before we get into that, we'll just go through a, a bit of background on CData. Um, so CData Software is the real-time data connectivity company. Our self-service data products and connectivity solutions provide universal access to live data from hundreds of popular on-premise and cloud applications. Millions of users worldwide rely on CData to enable advanced analytics, boost cloud adoption, and streamline uh, operations and create more connected business. Consumable by any user, accessible within any application, and built for all enterprises, C data is redefining data driven business. So with that, I'll go ahead and pass it over to Riley uh, to give us a little little background on, on C data sync. Thanks, John. Uh, C data sync is an easy to use uh, replication solution uh, that allows you to integrate from any source cloud application or on premise system for leveraging your analytics, BI, marketing and other vital business initiatives. Uh, C Data Sync offers 250 plus real-time fully managed connectors to give you the flexibility to work where your data work with your live data in the applications and systems that matter to you. Uh, with C Data Sync, you can easily leverage cloud to cloud, on-premise to cloud, or cloud to on-premise integration solutions, so you can access your data uh, wherever it lives. Uh, C Data Sync supports both ETL and ELT processes with SQL and DBT transformations. So uh, it allows you, it gives you the ability to control your data, um, or allows you the ability to control um, uh, all of your data. Um, so with that, I think it's good to hop over to our demo today, which is going to be uh, moving Salesforce data um, into Google BigQuery. Um, so it's cloud to cloud um, using, uh, using C Data Sync. All right, so now we're ready to begin the demo portion of the presentation. Um, all I've done so far is download and install C Data Sync C Data Sync can run as a local web app on a desktop or server machine. We do also offer uh, cloud deployments in the AWS and Azure Marketplace. Um, all of the functionality that you're going to see is going to be the same, regardless of where C Data Sync is deployed. When I first log into C Data Sync, I'm just greeted with a splash page. It's a dashboard that just gives me some basic information about the total number of jobs that I've ran, uh, if there's any failures, and then access to um, the jobs, some statistics about those jobs. Uh, when I first start up C Data Sync, the first thing I'm going to want to do is establish connections to my sources and my destinations. Um, all of this is going to be located on the left hand panel. So we just hit connections. And here's where we can set up our connections. Um, so these are, this is a list and these are some connections that I already have established. Um, so in this demo, I'll be demoing a connection to a Salesforce or source and then just replicating a table to a big query destination. Uh, but we do have 250 plus different connections. So if I don't see, I can just hit add connection. And then I can just search for the connection I want. Or I can scroll the list um, again of our 250 plus different connections. And these are both on-prem and cloud sources. Um, so let's say I wanted to establish a connection to my big query which I have already done, but I'll just uh, pull this up as an example. Um, I would just create a connection name, so I could just name it something, and then fill out the required connection properties. After I fill out the required connection properties, I just hit create and test, and that connection gets established. So since I already have a connection to my BigQuery destination and my Salesforce source, um, I'm actually ready to set up a job. Um, and again, this is located on the left-hand panel under the Jobs tab. And this is already a job that I have configured, but um, we can go ahead and set up a new one. And we can do that just by hitting the Add Job tab uh, and naming our job. So let's call it Salesforce to BigQuery. And we'll just select our Salesforce source, our BigQuery destination. Um, and here it's gonna ask if I wanna do a standard job. And this is where I can 
I can select which tables, uh, select which tables um, that I want to uh, that I want to replicate, or I can sync all those tables um, if I'd like. For this demo, we're just going to be doing a, a standard replication. So we'll add job. Um, so once the job is created, I'm just created with this again, just an, another splash page. Um, it just gives me some basic information about the job, like the job type, um, and then just some some logging information. As, as well as some other features that we'll talk about we'll talk about later. Um, so in order to select which table that I want to to replicate, I can just navigate to the task tab. This is where I set up um, replication tasks. So I can just hit add task. And then uh, for this demo, I'm just going to be using uh, the asset history. Uh, table. And um, before I start this replication, I'm actually just going to hop over to my BigQuery, um, my BigQuery uh, uh, console, and I'm just going to show that um, that yeah, this this table um, uh, is not in is not in our BigQuery instance. Um, so what ha what will happen is is uh, Sync will create that table and then replicate any data um, that's in that table over to BigQuery. Um, so back over in Sync, um, I can just select the job that I, or the task that I want to run, and then hit run, and that'll start. Um, while that's running, I'm just going to hop back over to the overview tab, and I'm just going to highlight a, a couple of their features. Um, so CD to Sync does offer incremental replication, so as long as the source supports it, um, you can you can increment your data, uh, or you can replicate your data incrementally. We do also the offer the option to run on a schedule. So if you'd like to have it um, replicated every hour, every few minutes, um, every day, um, you can configure Sync to automatically run those tasks. Um, you can also get notified of those tasks. Uh, uh, so it, when the job starts, stops, um, things like that. So that finished, and so we'll just hop over to the uh, to the BigQuery um, the BigQuery tab. We'll just refresh refresh this data set. So now, if we scroll down, yeah, we, now we have the asset history table. Um, so that that uh, so Sync was able to create and then replicate that data, and now we can use it however we'd like in BigQuery. Um, so yeah, so that's a that's a pretty that's a, a pretty uh, high level review of of BigQueries or sorry of uh, CD to Sync. Um, so now we'll open it up to a a Q and A for any other questions that you might have. Excellent, thank you for doing that, Riley. Um, so we have a couple questions here. Um, so the the first is, can Sync be used with other data sources and destinations besides Salesforce and BigQuery? Thanks, John. Yeah, um, so we support um, 250 plus uh, data sources as well as a number of destinations. Um, again, those can be um, on-premise, or sorry, uh, on-prem to on-prem, um, on-prem to cloud, or uh, cloud to cloud, cloud to on-premise. Then another question is, where does Sync need to be installed? Yeah, um, so Sync can be installed locally, um, and it just runs as a local web app. Um, otherwise, we do offer cloud deployments in the AWS and Azure Marketplace, um, or you can also deploy it in the cloud yourself. Um, all of the functionality that you saw is going to be the same, um, regardless of where it's going to be uh, installed. Excellent. And uh, another question, is there a trial available? Yeah, um, so CData offers uh, free trials of all of our software, um, CData Sync included, um, and it's fully functional, um, and it's uh, just a free 30-day trial. Um, I believe that it's already been linked in the chat, but otherwise we can we can link that here in just a second, um, and that's just the download page. Um, you just have to fill out a quick form, um, and you get access to, uh, to CData Sync. Excellent. Riley, thank you very much for, for doing that. Um, just for everyone's information, if you're looking to get started with the trial of Sync, or if you're already a Sync customer, um, if you have any questions about what you saw today, um, please feel free to reach out to us. You can reach out um, to our sales team at sales at cdata.com for any licensing or, or pricing questions. Um, and then our technical team can be reached at support at cdata.com as well. Um, 
Thank you all very much for taking the time to join. Um, we appreciate you taking part in the webinar and uh, we look forward to interacting with you in the future.